week. Another week. Another successful week, anyways. Mm -hmm. We're still here. We're still here. Kids are still here. Kids are still here. Yeah. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to it. Ooh, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Feels so good to be back. Yet again, welcome to another episode of the Drunken, Drunken Parents, Parents Podcast, where we sit down here, have a few drinks, and talk about pretty much anything that uh, we want, really. Yeah. We kind of have a specific topic in mind, but tends to go off the rails, you know, it happens. It, it always goes off the rails. <laughs> always. And of course, if you have anything that you want us to discuss in this podcast, or know. need some advice, maybe, who knows, send us an email at drunkenparents at gmail.com. All right, so now, before we get into today's episode, we have to, of course, thank our non-sponsors. So we got to get all that out of the way. So today's episode is not sponsored by Samsung. You know, they don't sponsor us. Actually, I don't have anything against them. I actually really like their products. They're pretty good. Is I my phone a Samsung? I don't even know. No, yours is a uh, Motorola. <coughs> no, okay. Mine's a Samsung. Yours is a Samsung. Yeah. Okay, cool. I like them. Cool. They're just not sponsoring us. I don't know why. I mean... I listen to this podcast. <laughs> also, you're that one player. I was going to say, yes. your mother, our mothers don't even listen to it yet. <clears throat> All right. Well, we have, we actually have to tell them about it. I, I, I guess think. that's true. I guess if we don't tell them about it, we can't get mad All if right. they don't listen to yeah. it. Yeah. One of these days, I'm going to be pouring these drinks because I'm right here. If you're just listening to this, I'm over top of my laptop and the sound card here and then the microphone. Bad things are going to happen. So, not yet, but, you know, as the night it's progresses. It's just... A matter of time, I think. It is. Yeah. And that'll be my excuse to get a new computer. Yay. No. Yay. It's not going to no. happen. All right. Well, <coughs> I'll drink to that too. There mm -hmm. you go. Thank you. You're welcome. The two nothing, just to drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to parenting. Uh, always fun. So how's your week? Um, I hate November. Like, I really hate November. Yeah. It's just... I should grow a mustache. That'll make it more fun. November? Mm-hmm. Well, it's, you're a little late. You have to start, like, November 1st. Why no? Well, aren't you a little late then about <coughs> complaining about November? Well... <laughs> I don't know. Well, we're a weekend. I don't <laughs> know. Just I just... this up. It just bothers me, because it's... Well, it's up like here... It's in between seasons? It's in between seasons, and at least fall... Like, it's still fall, but... All the leaves are gone, the colors are gone, it's not pretty, it's muddy and gray. There's no snow yet. At least if there's snow, you can yeah, go outside and do so yeah. much, but it's muddy and you can't really go out. And I'm sure you can go out. It's like not fun at all. Well, you just don't want to. Hmm? You just don't want to then. No, it's just because it's gross. Ugh. November and March, worst but months. But March though, at least you know that spring is coming. That's so you have that to look forward to. true. And then you get those days where it's like 10 degrees or something. You're like, that oh, is true. it's coming. It's coming. No, but November is like literally yeah. the worst. It's literally, <laughs> it's there is literally, literally the worst. nothing worse than No that. redeeming qualities about this month at all. Oh, well, you know, it's not too bad. And I guess it's, yeah, Halloween just finishes and Christmas. Yeah, you can't really get excited like for it, even though the stores are all stocked up with Christmas well, stuff Well, you won't already. let me put up any of the Christmas decorations well, yet. Do you want to put up the Christmas oh, decorations? Well, I don't know. It would make it more fun you seriously like november one you'd put up the christmas no, decorations i know i, I did put, joke I'd about put, like hey i'd put up know, the tree you know what? The kids got do in you know what Halloween. like i'd put up lights because i like the lights of christmas but i don't like how you put them up because you just haven't you just you just put them up here and, like, we don't have a lot of you, options you, still have the, you, you have tacks i just leave them i just leave the them I just i'm leave surprised them. you don't tack right through the the light and then I want to get that. And I'm an expert. I'm an expert. I, I, you know, I don't know about I, that. No, I am. I am an expert at doing not it for hanging years, things properly. My friend, whatever. <laughs> an expert at. I never job asked you to poor. do it. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. We've never had a problem. Do you remember the? Lady? I was just gonna say. <laughs> do you remember the epic? Oh, we should have got a picture of it. You're talking about first year, right? Yeah, of course. I know. We had, or I had, you the best did lighting. did this, like, crazy spiral with the icicle, icicle lights. lights, which we still have, which I still hang up. Uh, those lights those. are, like, they still last, 17 eh? years old, eh? That's true, eh? I should yeah. smash them. Please don't. I like them. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the first year in residence. I had these lights, 
Yeah, they, I had made a spiral pattern oh to the God. middle of the room, and there was lights around on the ceiling, the bed, like all I don't know. Everywhere. And they had like flashing lights too. That you had, had gazillion. I, why did you even have Christmas lights in first year? I think you went with me to go buy them. We went to like Walmart or something. No, really you cheap. got them from your mom. Those were no, your no, mom's. No, 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 no. Yeah, there was no, some no, from no, your mom's. No, because I I got them. I did them before Christmas. <clears throat> well, I know. But and then just kept them up. Yeah. Anyways, oh, it doesn't matter doesn't where. Matter. No, she did not. I did not get it. Why? That is, I'm insulted by that. <laughs> that offends me. Whoa. I'm. Okay. Okay. Whoa. All right. You need to like. New segment in this podcast. We're going to have a safe space. Okay. We need a safe <gasps> Fuck. podcast space. Fuck where your you cannot say spaces. You cannot say things that I disagree with. Fuck Otherwise, you spaces. are wrong. <laughs> Without any logical. I'm sorry, you're just a Nazi and I'm done talking to you. No, I'm the one that calls you a Nazi because you're invading my safe space. You're not (laughs) understanding how it works, right? If you're saying things against me and my safe space, you're a Nazi, you're a white supremacist. So I know what you should do for Movember is just have just 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 like a little mustache. There's my Movember for you. Culture (laughs) culture appropriation. What is the thing that your cultural appropriation now? That's the big thing now. Everyone's appropriating everybody's culture. It's it's always on Halloween, right? Because you can't dress up like an Indian. You can't dress up as anything. You can't dress up as I don't even (sighs) know. You can't dress up as Pocahontas. You can't. I'm. Mean, it's not just everything is getting so. I mean, Halloween. I. I do think. I mean, if you were in the actual spirit of Halloween, you should dress up as like an actual scary yeah. monster. That's what this you is should. What, but I don't care as long as people are wearing a costume. Yeah. But yeah, now you can't even dress up as anything. No. To because you're going to offend somebody. Well, like no. everyone's offended. Oh, no. it's so. Someone's offended right now listening, <laughs> and it's like. Uh, again, I'm the only one listening. I'm gonna listen to this, and I'm like, I'm offended. Offended. Why? Why is he talking about this? <laughs> but yeah, like it's so, and it just we talk about this before. Oh man, we're so sidetracked. But <laughs> we were, a little bit. <laughs> remember, I was talking about that South Park episode where something was going on where everyone's getting offended, at, like teachers were, or parents were getting offended at teachers or whatever, and they're putting on trying to put on a Christmas play, yeah, and yeah, everyone's yeah, like, yeah. can't do, yeah. can't put up a tree, I'm offended, you can't do this, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. the play yeah. just ended up being all the kids rolling around in like these gray suits doing some kind of robot thing. <laughs> like, they the, were... the parents are watching the play and they're like, when the parent just stands up, it's like, what the hell is this <laughs> bullshit or whatever? I can't remember. They were so but yeah, it was just like, were, you get rid of everything. It's like, what the hell what is it was anymore? left. They were so yeah. ahead of their time, actually. South Park? Yeah. They're still going, I'm pretty sure. I know, but they were so ahead of their time in terms of, their... of like, I feel like they, they were, really are. They always did social commentaries. That was, that's their bread and butter. No, I know, They're but I feel like, but I feel like you kind of, you're like, oh my God, that's so ridiculous. That could never happen. And you're like, yep, actually, that's actually happening right now. Yeah, but it was also happening back then too, I think. But we just weren't as, not a, we're just not as aware of it because we were mm, kids back then. We didn't have time to pay attention. I don't think it's to the point where it is today. No, it probably is getting. You, uh, people have to call it a fucking holiday tree. Don't, people don't actually have to do that now, do they? I don't know. The kids can't even dress up. Remember when the kids were in school? They they couldn't dress up for Halloween. They they got around Wasn't it. Wasn't it that they couldn't dress up as Harry Potter? Or that's no, what no, they no. had to do or something? No, no, like they, that? because they could only dress up as their favorite book character. Not as like... What if your favorite book character is Halloween. Frankenstein? Well, that's the thing. Is that's how every, No one really gave or, a shit. Everyone just fucking dressed up how they ever wanted Dracula, to. Dracula, right? That's a book? It's a book. They're all books. They're all books. At the end of the day, they're all yeah, books because everything was created before it was tv yeah <laughs> makes no anyway, sense it makes no sense uh, anyways did we have a point of what we wanted to talk about today yeah well let's just finish this here let's okay. have another drink number three number I three think. i like it <sighs> dude i didn't have supper yeah i'm hungry too I'm actually i'm starving yeah. over some french toast french toast <laughs> <laughs> We'll have something after this. Hashtag 40-year-old virgin. I don't know if that's an actual hashtag or just the title of the movie. I'm hashtagging it. All right, well. It's been hashtagged. All right, Justin. (laughs) You can't just hashtag everything. I'm hashtagging it. Anyways, go. All right. Go. Go. Okay, start. Okay. We've been, let's see, we've been going for, uh, I can't see how long. Long enough, anyways. Oh, there I go. Mm -hmm. We passed like 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Anyways. Anyways, go. All right, so today, one, the, I guess kind of the topic that I want to start today or to start talking about today is just homeschooling and really kind of the advice that we would give to people that are just starting out with homeschooling yeah. that don't really know how to get started because we've been doing it for two years now and 
I guess we could say we've been around the block in the sense we've mm-hmm. heard from a lot of the other parents. We've advised yeah. a lot of other parents. Yeah. So I figured, I don't know, let's just talk about it and see uh, see what we can come up with. We'll bring so you to the dark side. To the dark side of homeschooling. We have cookies and Goldschlager. Come join us. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> really weird. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. I but uh, you're getting all John Lejoie on here with... Uh, <laughs> Like luring kids in with your <laughs> trench coat, public masturbator, oh, and what? rapist classes <laughs> or whatever. That I, escalated you sounded, quickly. You sounded so creepy. Oh like, my God. Here, I'm like, come this. to the dark side. Come to the dark side, like be a homeschooler. But it's not the dark side. It's the light side. You know what? This is actually one thing that we always talk about as we talked about a little bit, about probably in our first two podcasts, but about homeschooling and how it's going against the grain. And, and yeah. maybe it's like, oh, people don't think of it as highly or, or what have you but like it's just it's just better and i don't think of it as like come to the dark side it's like just come to the oh, the light in the uh, sense to yes. like teach your kids better okay, I, know. I guess you're saying okay just, all right it's a funny thing it's a meme okay. come to the dark side we have cookies it's a meme you take it so seriously i don't so know seriously. memes i don't you i don't insta tweet face <laughs> i don't just, do it just go to your safe space and everything will be fine God. just go don't tell me to go. Just go. I go to my safe space when I need to go there. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I'll go to my safe space. But it's not because you told me. It's because I want to go there. God. Okay. Anyways, you know, I, you know I don't do memes. Come on, don't. Oh, I thought you. Me. I thought you knew. You tell me memes. Though. I don't even. Know. I don't know. I don't. I don't <laughs> do that stuff. I don't Facebook. I don't even have a Facebook. What is it? I don't. So, Insta face. face. <laughs> I don't do it. You know, I just don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. It doesn't even exist. It's not real. <laughs> Hashtag reservoir dogs. <laughs> Was that one on the tip? Yeah. I thought you were going to talk about um, like um, the moon landing and the flat earth. No. no, I just don't believe in it. I think the earth is flat. You got evidence? Yeah, I don't care. It's just not. It's not true. Okay. Okay. Moon we landing? Have to move on. It just didn't happen. Is that evidence? No, I don't believe it. Okay. okay Shine okay. a laser and refracts back. <laughs> No, it's not evidence. I don't believe Eclipse? it. Eclipse? What? Gravity? <laughs> prove it. Oh, okay. you dropped it? Okay, yeah, okay, it okay, 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 okay. I don't okay. believe in it. All right. We just <laughs> move on. Anyways, so homeschooling, <laughs> and if you want to go home, if you want to learn how to homeschool. If you want to be crazy like us. You wanna, yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> So this is this is good. So we should probably end it right here because people are like, yeah, no, we don't want to be crazy. <laughs> we'll just stick to our normal lives where things, you know, make sense. Makes sense. Whatever. There's no safe spaces. Anyways. Or maybe they are. They maybe it have, is a safe space. Oh, my God, you're right. <gasps> Mind blown. <gasps> Public school and private school is a safe space. <laughs> what? Where no one can say anything. <laughs> like, okay, 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 wait. I'm thinking about South Park again. Oh my so, god. No, this is about like safe spaces and how Fuck. kids can say anything without fear of whatever. But I just think of the South Park movie. If you haven't seen it, you got to watch it. Oh my it. god, best movie but ever. He's like, okay, children, what's like two plus two or whatever? <laughs> One kid honey, answers to the question, honey. he says five. Oh, that's good. Let's hear it now from a student <laughs> who's in a complete retard. You know? Oh, on okay, on. you know, number just, one. I know you're just quoting a movie, but you know it. Fucking hate that word. <coughs> I need to go to my safe space now. <laughs> See, yeah, maybe you should go to your safe space. I'm sorry, I fucking hate that word. I'm just saying you said a word, <laughs> and it offends me. So don't say that word anymore. <laughs> just relax. It's just a word. Just a word. I know. If you don't like it, close your ears. I know you're just quoting movie. You know I hate that word though. Okay. Anyways, yeah, you don't like it. There's lots of words <coughs> I don't like. Like moist. <laughs> Suet. <laughs> moist <laughs> oh just stop suet is another word i cannot stand i don't even know what that means suet Look no, because it i don't up. understand it Ugh. i'm gonna treat that as disrespect, disrespect. just watch your mouth okay, <laughs> okay so homeschooling all right so anyways so i think from for us we sat down and talked about this a lot and gave it a lot of thought we kind of broke down things that you want to <clears> think about if you're wanting to homeschool into like four steps yeah right so you know, give yeah. or take anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first step that you want to do if you're thinking about homeschooling is you really want to sit down and you want to analyze, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to analyze why you want to homeschool in yeah. the first place. Yeah. What are the reasons why you want to do this? So for us, it was pretty simple. There was Tristan 
which our son, which was diagnosed, who was diagnosed with autism and has special needs. And it was clear to us that the school was just simply not equipped to be able to both manage his behavior and actually teach him the things that he needed to learn. Just the point of the... Just the point that he had behaviors because he didn't fit into the box of a well, that's school, another thing, right? Yeah. And so, therefore, his behavior had to be managed. That's the, I think, the main point. And there are with quite that. a lot of kids out there these days <clears throat> that have behaviors, oh my God. and not even because of special needs. They just have behaviors well, because of whatever be, reasons. Well, right? I mean, there, well, there's so many reasons. There's so many reasons because of school, right? Because they're kept inside for so much. They're Kids are being diagnosed yeah. with like ADHD, but it's just because they can't get outside and just play and just be kids, right? Like that's it's a funny. Like, do you remember like being in school? Like, I hated it. I hated it. You go there for it's like did. six hours. Yeah. That's a long time for a kid, and you just go there. You sit at a desk, and someone just rambles on about stuff. Either you already know it, so you're bored to bored tears, to fuck. or you have no idea what they're talking about and what are you going to do then? You know, you don't want to raise your hand and maybe seem Be like people are, yeah, laugh at or, you. Yeah, and you just, I don't know, you're just, just bored. The whole time was just, it was like a waste of time. It's yeah, like, why is it taking so long to, anyways. But anyways. Um, so, but that's the thing. There just gets so many issues with these kids the, these yeah. days in terms of. Yeah, well, and I think it's all about, to go back to that, the reason why is, is because it's all about test scores and it's all about the standardized tests and showing how kids have improved or not improved and all and that, this stuff. And, and it's that's not political. A, that has nothing political. to do with the kids. No, it's about how good you are taking a test on what you know. Yeah. Um, and and uh, what school is going to get the most funding <clears throat> because they got good test scores. And or, yep, yep. No, it's all, it's, it's all, it's, it's, it's all political. It's, at the end of the day, it's not even about the kids. No, it's never it's about not. the kids, which is unfortunate. But that's... You know, that's more of our personal reasons, too, as to why we want to take our kids out because it's like fundamental we're, kinda, values, we're, we're disillusioned right? by the homeschooling, the whole system. Like for us, the system well, and doesn't I think, work. Well, and I think for me, that kind of awakening, because uh, I've been like an inside of the box person my whole life, yep. straight A students, like Ooh, aren't you fancy, fancy, all the stuff. But anyways, but my point is, is once you once you have an experience that's outside of the box and when your kid is diagnosed with something, you realize that you yeah. have to buck the system and yeah. you have to... The world doesn't conform the to world doesn't conform what you are anymore. Because you're not normal. You're not normal. Your family's not normal. And so you have to do things differently. And so everything is put into a tailspin, I think. And to hell with it. I don't want to be normal anyways. Because everyone's being normal. And then how are you supposed to differentiate, yeah, differentiate exactly. yourself? Who you know? wants that life? I don't know. No. Anyway, so that's, Anyways, so that's that's for us. Yeah, you know, those are the wise. reasons why. Um, also, uh, you know, the kids weren't having fun. You could tell they were just oh, miserable. They were miserable. And the morning was stressed oh. because, oh, you have to get oh. up at a certain time. You had to get Making the kids ready. You lunches. had to get the lunches ready. The oh kids my, it's their lunch. the bane of like every mom's existence was making lunches and getting them out the door in the morning. It's pure hell. It's it's a whole big stress. And th- you don't want to start your day like that. It's horrible. My kids wake up. They have smiles on their faces. They're excited. It's a well, much do, better, it's whatever. easier day for We start us. what we need to start. I mean, within yeah. reason, right? It's not like, oh. You oh, I don't let them sleep like until noon. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no of course not. not. But, uh, but I still, if, if I know they've been up and they need to sleep or something's happened and they need to sleep, then they sleep. Yeah. Because I mean, we have it scheduled like kind of nine o'clock is the start of school, right? But if yeah, it's nine twenty, no one's going well, to no throw a hissy fit, right? No, it's not a big deal. I hope. No. <laughs> Um, so but anyways, yeah, it's, it's your why, your why. Yeah. And the, and why that is so important is because you are always going to come back to that, especially we're going to see in the next couple steps we go through, but you're always going to need to come back to that, especially in your bad days. When you have days where you want to throw in the towel and like, fuck this, I'm sending the kids back to school. You need to come back to your why. Why are you doing it? Why is it worth the, you know, bad day or bad couple days? Come back to your why. And that'll refresh you. Yeah. And I'll just jump ahead a little bit into my thought process is throughout your homeschooling process and throughout your whole journey is just, and I think this is true for everything you do in life, is just you can't sweat the small stuff. It's like you you have to be patient. And just if something is not going the way that you want it to, 
take a few deep breaths and just step back and then just think about the situation yeah. and approach it cool, calm, and just rational, right? Like, don't get so blown up if your kids aren't listening one day or whatever because some days you get out of bed, like, you as an adult, you don't want to go to work. I mean, who's who, who hasn't been there that's like, oh, you know what, I just don't want to go to work today. But you have to, so you do it. Maybe you hate it or whatever, but you do it, right? So it's the same thing with kids. Well, Some days they don't want to go to work. Well, don't chew their face off if they're no, not the perfect kids and I think, every single day well, no, and I think, while you're at homeschool. And so, but, I, but I think the thing, too, is that what you have to remember, and I think as homeschool parents... Um, you put a lot of pressure on yourself to be like, I have to be better than the school because I'm arrogant enough to think I can educate my kids better. So I have to be better. So every day has to be like this good, mm. awesome but you will fucking be. 10 day. Just by taking them out of school. I know, be. but you still put a lot of pressure on yourself, but just know well, like don't. every day is not going to be an awesome day because you're going to have a bad day. You're going to be PMSing. You're going to maybe have a hangover. You're going to maybe not have slept well the night before. So you're not going to have a good day. You're going to have a hangover. What are you talking? What kind of parents are you talking about? I here? don't know. You know. Parents that do a podcast <laughs> while drinking? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. No hangover. Come on. Um, anyways, but no, but then the other thing is, is like kids are going to have bad days too. They're going to wake up on the wrong side of the yeah. bed. Someone pissed in their cereal. Someone looked at them wrong. Someone pissed at the cereal. <laughs> Well, that was me. That was me. I do that. Exactly. But, but that's yeah, what I'm anyways, saying. It, it's you're, ups, and, you're, ups and downs. You're painting Everybody's a really n- bleak picture here. It's not like but it's that I'm, crazy. But what but I'm yeah, saying just, is like, even if your kids are in school, they're going to have bad days that the teacher is going to be like, oh my God, I want this kid yeah. out of my class. Like, you know, and you're going to feel that way too. You're going to be like, I want this kid out of my class. You know? Just send him to the it, principal's office. That's what I tell you. If AKA you're doing, the room. If you're going, <laughs> if you're doing homeschooling, and if ever it's going really, really bad and I'm lucky enough to work from home, so I'm just in the other room and you just like, all right, send them to me or whatever. Go go to the principal. I'm just like, all right. And I just take the kids and do some sit-ups and push-ups and squats until you guys are blue in the face. That's fine. I was going to say beat them, but I guess that's... (laughs) That is not even really actually funny. But uh, I know you're joking. But it's, <laughs> I'm it's totally like, joking. Uh, this, isn't, uh, this, isn't, this isn't the Catholic school board. Come, calm down. <laughs> calm down, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's true. So step one, know why you want yep. to do homeschool. Know your why. That's important. Step number two, of course, this is important, and a lot of people probably just kind of overlook this, but you got to talk with your actual kid. Find mm. out what they want <laughs> and what they want to do. Do they even like school? What if they absolutely love school? And that's another issue to consider as well, too. Now, of course, you're the parent. You have the ultimate decision to make in terms of yep. what's good for them because it's your child. You raise them as you see fit in that regards, right? But talking to them will give you so many insights, oh, yeah. not only into whether they want to homeschool or not, but also how to tailor the homeschool once you do start homeschooling. Mm-hmm. So, for example, for... Just, just for any kid in general, right? If they say, oh, well, you know what? Yeah, I don't really like going to school. It's kind of boring. But, you know, I do like the art class. I do like to do the drawings or whatever. We get together with groups or whatever. We do this kind of stuff. So I, I really like that, Dad. But, you know, everything else is kind of boring. And there's this kid maybe that kind of picks on me. And I'm at school. I'm a little bit bored. So if you're going to homeschool that kid, then you know that what you can do is you can kind of foster their artistic abilities yeah. and spend time doing art class with them yep. every day where you're drawing or whatever, just to cultivate the things that they love to do most. Yep. That's, I think for me, that's number one, very, very important is to make sure that you are going to foster <coughs> the goals and aspirations that your children have. Cause I know, I know for me, all of my goals were completely like, shoved in a briefcase in a box and, you know, thrown into the ocean kind of thing. You can't do that because there's no money in anywhere. that. It's not going to get you anywhere mm-hmm. or whatever. You have to do, you know, this science or math or whatever. And that's yeah, it, yeah. right? And yeah. all the creativity, artistic stuff was just like thrown away. And it's finally starting to come out where I'm like, ah, oh, no, fuck it. I want to do stuff that I want to do or mm-hmm. stuff that I enjoy doing, right? But, yep. but it's foster what they like to do and yeah. if you are thinking ahead in the future in terms of what they can do like <clears throat> now more than ever the entrepreneur and the i have an idea and i'm yeah, going to run with my thing with social media thing. technology you can pick up your guitar you can pick up your paintbrush Sky, pick up a camera yeah. put it on youtube and you can become an instant Sky's success and you can become 
way more famous and way not even forget about fame you could become way more successful, successful than you ever could yep. pushing papers at some cubicle and some shit job after you spent eight years at university getting a degree and getting one hundred thousand dollars in debt sorry i'm totally getting ahead of myself in all kinds of different scenarios no. talk to your kid find out what they like to do and make sure that when you do homeschool them you foster in the things that they are really good at and enjoy because you want to enjoy what you do, even if it is work. Yeah. And there's days, like we just said, you're not going to want to get up and do it every day. So, But as long as you love and enjoy it, well, you'll yeah. find happiness so in life, right? The, the other side of this coin is if you, you're you the parent, you know your child best, you know what they love. Our kids are crazy into Pokemon cards right now. And so use Pokemon cards as a teaching tool, right? Like if you do exactly. choose to homeschool, use it. I mean, they they have like hit points and all these points. Use that in math. And all these points, health units. I don't health them, so I don't play the game. You should. It's a lot of fun. I'm sure it is. We'll get you some cards. I don't want any cards. That's for you and the kids. That's a you and the kids thing. Well, you I you gotta d- learn how to play with us. I do other stuff. With we'll the have kids. a tournament. I don't want to have a tournament. We only have three. We need four. We need a fourth. Fuck. Anyways. Wow, that's 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 step number three. Don't show any interest in what your kids like. <laughs> no, but I but know, for I'm, I'm but uh, but for me with the kids, I think it's really important. Is they're both very artistic, so some things I try to do are stuff with drawing and creativity in any lesson in science especially social studies language we really try I really try hard to make it so that there's some creativity component and some drawing component because that's what's going to hold their interest and I don't know about you but when I learn I learn best if it's something I'm interested in or something I can learn while doing something that I love at the same time so it's an interesting it's thing. It's important. And, and I think we'll probably talk about this later on at some point, um, probably maybe more so on our website. But what they teach in school versus what you should actually teach your kid in terms of, number one, what interests them, and number two, what's actually going to be useful for them in mm-hmm. life. Yeah, that too. Like, how many things that you've learned in school is actually useful? And even sometimes when we're teaching stuff with the kids, we, I think we take a step back and say, like, Ah, do they even really need okay, to learn how to well, do this? Like, for example, you're so teaching like crazy long division to I'm the just, kids. No, okay. I'm like, when was the last time you ever had to do so long division? So this was our conversation. Like, ever. But this ever, was our, ever, but this ever was, in your life. This is what's so funny is because we had this conversation like, what, like two days ago? You're like, have you ever used long division? And I'm like, the only time I've used long division <laughs> as an adult was when I had to teach long division to, to my child. Right? <laughs> and now, but now like this kid, you should see him. Like I learned He's it. He's doing it. Absolutely. He's doing crazy long division. He's doing like, like fifty six div- or sorry, like two hundred. Yeah, I could see you're still having trouble with your long divisions. <laughs> yeah, but like two hundred and seventy five divided by like thirty two. No, no, no. We're know. talking like twenty thousand divided by like fifty, or but like more complicated than that. But it's like yeah. five digits divided by a two digit two digit number. Yeah. Like, That's the thing with math. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter what number it is. He's doing well. He's kicking ass and taking awesome. names. Yeah. Which is good because it, like, it does, like, also, too, the thing with mathematics is it's not so much just about, oh, you need to n- know how to do this skill for the future. You need but it's good because it helps you understand problem solving. And yes. that's why math, to yes. me, is fundamental because it's not about that, oh, you're going to need to be able to do long division in the future, no, but no, you're going to need to learn how to s- recognize yeah. certain problems and, then what and knowing you how to, to do them. And having so the tools to solve exactly. those problems. Exactly. So that's, so that's, having a toolbox. You know, but, but when yeah. you think about it, think about certain aspects, like, oh, when was the last time you need to know what the cosine of 45 was to, to calculate the other angle of a, or the other, the hypotenuse of a triangle or whatever, well, sure right? Like, you're like an engineer or the quadratic or equation. When did you yeah. ever learn? Of course. And that's if you want to do because there's certain there's certain things that that you want to become that are known that you know you have to you have, have the to math have it. Like you want to be an engineer you want to be a doctor you want to be a professor you don't of need science you co-sign to have, be a doctor FYI okay well but, but there's certain science. you still have to you, just have, saying. you have to do your calculus you have to do your calculus one calculus two in why you need to know calculus exactly because it's not about that it's it's about critical thinking do you want your doctor 
to be operating on you and there's a problem, they're like, oh, I've never experienced this before. I don't know what to do. No, you need them to be trained, mm. ready to go to like mm. no holes barred. Still want to get and be able to like anyways. Okay. <laughs> Forget about your little nightmare about calculus. We we all know you hate calculus, but it doesn't mean it's not useful. It's very useful. Okay, anyways, move anyways, on so to that's, number that's step number two. Three. Just gotta number three. Talk with your child. And yeah. then step number understand your child and then you you'll mm-hmm. you'll be much better equipped to know how yep. to actually yep. structure your lessons plans to teach them. Yep. So step number three is of course talk to your I wanna get in trouble here with uh, the SJWs, but talk to your spouse or significant, significant other, other or your partner or whatever or maybe you're a single parent i don't know i don't know who you're going to talk to if you're a single parent but then you're just on your own which is like you know good for you i guess right obviously Oof, single parent. which is if you're a single parent and you're going to homeschool respect yeah respect to all homeschoolers respect. um we give our respects equally across all people. I'm sorry. If you're a <laughs> single parent right there, whether you homeschool or not, you have my respect. Anyways. What if they're really bad single parents, though? Do, well, if they're do, a douchebag single parent, then no. But So, so don't give up blanket well, respects. Well, but you know what? I grew up in a single parent home, so. Does it, uh, and do they deserve just yeah, respect just because? I feel like you kind of do a little bit. Being a single parent... Could you imagine me? No, you're not a heavy. Yeah, yeah. I see, you're biting your tongue. Could you imagine? It's like, oh, I can only imagine. Cause, yeah. No, because I'm like being a mom. It's tough. It's being a mom and being a dad. This is a okay, whole. This is, is a whole other podcast. But I'm not saying just because you are a single parent means you're a good parent. No, and deserve uh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying That's just. That's all be- I'm saying. Okay, what so I'm, I'm saying. So I'm just saying, calm down. And what say, I'm like, saying is okay, it's here's way your, no, no. harder. You have so many other Of course it's harder because you got to, to do, deal with. You have to do everything yeah, by yourself. Exactly, exactly. Of course it's harder. Okay. But obviously when it, things come harder, a lot of people just fold like a cheap tent. <laughs> like, I'm not doing this. Oh my okay. God. Why does this have, why do you have to make this a thing? I'm not making a thing. You're making a thing. Can I'm, we move on? Consulting go, your partner. Do you want to go to your safe space? No, no. <laughs> hang on. Just. I'm just putting it there because I'm just irritated right now. Okay, yeah, so. That's not why, <laughs> You're irritated. Okay. Okay, okay right. so moving on. Speaking to your, to your partner. That's in quotes because... <laughs> oh, whoever, maybe whatever. Maybe it's not a partner. Maybe it's just some person that's casually on the side. I don't know your relationship. I don't know what you do. <laughs> hey, I'm not judging. Maybe there's four of you. <laughs> you share responsibilities. That's I'm cool. I'm not judging. That's cool. How does that work? <laughs> you got four of you? Like... Do you guys like all have to have sex at the oh same time? Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, it's not that kind of podcast. Can, like two of them. It's not go that off kind and, like, of. Yeah, we're gonna do it. <laughs> but then, like the third one's like, are they like maybe just oh watching? Oh my god! Could are you they just stop? like in the other room reading? I'm not close enough to kick you right now, and I really wish I could. Why would you? Could you move on? I'm just curious. Could you move I'm on? I'm just curious. Consult your partner. My friends go. call me Whiskers. So I'm curious. <laughs> Yes, that's step number three. Consult your partner. Do you want more? Do you want me to elaborate on that? <laughs> yeah, I think you have. Yes. <laughs> Which partner? <laughs> well, that's the question. Is it the partner that's kind of happy go lucky, doesn't care so much? But is it that other partner that's like <gasps> everything you do, stop. they have to criticize, criticize, criticize? Oh, <laughs> You know that? Sorry. You have Movie to break. St- Movie break. You have here's, to stop. Here's a. Okay, this has got to stop. Inside joke there. Okay. <laughs> this reminds me of the movie, uh, our fa- favorite director, Quentin Tarantino. The, um, oh, what's the movie? Django Unchained. When all the guys are dressed up the first time, they're dressed up in like the kook. Ku Klux, the KKK, whatever, <laughs> their mask or whatever. Can't even say it. And they're like, they're, they're trying to, they're going to get Django, right? So they dress up in their things because they don't want to see. <laughs> and they're like, I can't see shit in this mask because they're like cutting out the thing. And then the one guy, of course, like, you know, fuck you guys. My wife stayed up <laughs> all night making up these masks for you guys. And all I hear is criticize, criticize, criticize. <laughs> we ain't going to do the shit for it. <laughs> There's like, okay. I can't see shit. Anyways, watch Django Unchained because it's like, so good. Okay, just watch every Quentin Tarantino movie ever because yes. obviously he's amazing. Okay, can we just move on now? All yes, right, we know. We're going to move on. You just need to have a drink or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay. 
Talking to your partner. Yes, talk to your partner. Obviously, we're very good at this. We're, um, oh, I, I should, should I be offended? No, Okay, I'm going to go over my safe space. Don't. I, I think that's a safe space <laughs> comment. All right. So, okay. you got to know <coughs> what your partner even wants. There's, it's, it's, it's unbelievable for me to think this, but like, we've talked to people that are thinking about homeschooling and... Literally, they their other part their partner doesn't even know that they want to do this, or they want to homeschool, but their partner is completely against it, and they can't even articulate the reasons as to why their partner is against it. So, right there, there's oftentimes a huge disconnect between one or the other in terms mm-hmm. of what is best for the child and why. So, if you're in the unfortunate position where you might want to homeschool, you're thinking about homeschooling because obviously. The school system is failing your child. You want to homeschool, but your other partner is like, no, we can't do it. You need to know why they want to do that and arm yourself with actual knowledge and facts and reasons as to why you want to homeschool to present to that partner and communicate with them all the reasons why homeschooling will be beneficial for your child. So in that example I've had, which like... Like I'm telling you guys, like this is we've seen this like firsthand. If you have a child that you know would benefit from homesc- from homeschooling, and you say, "Listen, if we homeschool our child, A, B, C, D is going to happen, guaranteed by homeschooling because of, you know, X, Y, Z. We need to do this, and we're going to reap the benefits. And then if you logically lay this out to your partner, and they're like, "Well, no, I don't want to because school is how people are taught, and that's just how it's done." That's not an argument. That's just being ignorant and being stupid and not willing to give it a chance. So you have to communicate effectively to your partner. And if you can, you can meet them halfway. Say, like, listen, let's do this for two weeks and see what happens. Or let's do it part-time. Let's do it part-time. They'll go to school in the morning and then in the afternoon, afternoon. we'll do it in the afternoon. And then we'll see the difference. Is there any change in behavior? Like, think of it, like for me, I'm a scientist. You have to make an experiment. Like, Here's before, and let's take him out and put him in another controlled environment and see the difference in changes, control the variables. The variables is removing them from school and placing them in an environment where you're fostering their education and you're tailoring the lesson plans to their needs yep. and seeing the changes. And and for and for us, this was like completely evident with Tristan. We Oh my it's just he in grade three well Grade, grade two was way a, before grade three. Yeah, no, yeah. grade two was a really tough year for him, and I swore to myself I would not go through that again. Um, with like literally dragging him, kicking and screaming into school, and then crying every day on my walk home after I dropped him off. I told myself I was never going to go through that again. And so in grade and why three, why would you want to put your child through that? Exactly. And, f- and was, what's the end game? What's the end game too? There was you there was no purpose. He wasn't. Ga- there was there was no positive from it. There was no pro from doing that. But anyways, but the point was, is that's what happened um, in grade three. It's what started to happen after Christmas, which seemed to always be the time when, when that happened, when the wheels would fall off, would be after Christmas in January. And so many... Because you're at, you're, you're home so, for two weeks, you have the break, and you get used to being at yep. home, and you don't want to go back. You don't want to so, leave. So many special needs moms will attest to this. Oh. January, it's when the wheels fall off. But but anyways, so we, we took them out. Because it was just like a meltdown after meltdown after meltdown. And then finally by March break, we were just like, yeah, we're done. Like, we're fucking done. We're just going to, he can stay in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we're taking him out. Yep. The difference well, was unreal. Night and day. Real. Night and day. Night and day. Different You don't kid. have to be a scientist uh, with different, an expensive different degree hanging on your wall to, to know that. Different kid. Like, everything, problems. There's still problems, but I mean... <laughs> Not problems with every single person. Yeah, but not what we were dealing with every single day. And like not just like every other. It was like every single day there was a problem. Yeah, but the benefit with us too is that we were both on board. We communicated yes. with each other. We knew exactly what yep. was going to happen. Yep. We talked about yep. how it was going to work. Yep. Like who's going to stay home? Who's going to teach? Yeah, and, and and in this relationship, I'm I was the one who was like, mm, yeah, and I'm like, no, we have to homeschool. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't want to homeschool. If it was up to me, it would have been done way sooner, but 
you no, know, that's part of community. Yeah. We kept on talking about it, right? Like, but I have to keep saying, like, okay, well, what are the pros of him being in school now? Okay, mm-hmm. the mornings are crap. Mm-hmm. The afternoons are crap. You come home, like you said, you're walking, you're yeah. crying. All these, yeah. I'm like, here's the negatives, okay? Well, here's well, the positives of what can happen well, if you homeschool. And, f- and you and lay it out and you're like, and oh my God, yeah, I can't. How can I argue that? Yes, but and to be fair, like at the time when we initially started talks on taking him out, I had a job. I had a job. Yeah. And so part of that but was... it wasn't necessary. It wasn't... That's another it, issue. Yeah, well, it, it, uh, it is yeah. another issue that we'll get to, but I'm just... And that's why I'm bringing it up, right? Is because I did have a job. I was bringing in an income. It was like a part-time job. Well... Well, it was part time. It was part time. I was working almost full time hours, but it was supposed to be a part time job. I don't know that. I didn't know that. We've talked about this. I'm triggered. <laughs> oh, fuck. But but no. But the, but the point is, is like I did have a job at the time before, and um, so I ended up. I had to leave my job because of issues at home right and that's that's fine like well i wanted you to leave that job for well, way longer than there was other there, there was other there was other issues involved with that but anyways but that was one of the reasons right it was because of and and for me it was a no-brainer I, I i wasn't attached i wasn't super attached to the job it but it was no, still it's, it's just a job yeah, this, yeah. This but is anyways, a, it's another interesting point. And another, it wasn't a, cr- it wasn't a career. It no, wasn't a not. career. This it was is just a, a job. This is a very, very important point when it comes to talking with your partner or whatever your situation is like, is it's finances. It's a huge yeah. thing and you can't get around it. I mean, no. so many, you know, relationships break up over finances. It's so other than do. I think sex, I think is probably the, the it's second number one. Big, but I think sex, Rish. I think sex is number one. I think finances is number two. two. Um, we'll, we'll do I'll research on it. No, no, we don't need to research. This uh, is, yeah. this is just what it is. I'm telling you. So it's, it's true. I believe so it. Just go to your safe it. space. If you don't believe him. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, but you and I, I guess are lucky in that talking about communicating. We communicated way before we got married. I think oh even God. in first year, the first year of us being together in a relationship, we were like, do you want to have kids? Who's going to raise them? <laughs> I think that was kind of one of the things. And it we was. talked about it. Like, I'm like, because I said, like, someone's got to stay home with the kids. Mm-hmm. Period. That's all there's going to be. You know, like, once they're in school, fine, whatever. But yep. the first four years, I'm like, no. They're not doing this babysitter or putting stuff into daycare or whatever. I personally... Would never do that. Would never want that. If you have to, you have to. But I wouldn't mm-hmm. do it if I didn't have to, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So we talked about that and we made sure that we were a good fit for each other yeah. before getting married and having kids and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So but with finances and jobs, I mean, and homeschooling, you know, there might be, you both might be having jobs at the same time and you're like, oh, well, I want to homeschool. It's like, mm-hmm. you got to talk about what's going to happen with money. Are you comfortable living with less because another person is going to have less income, or is there an alternate method you for them to evenings work? Evenings and exactly, weekends, right? so like you got to figure it out. You got to talk you about that. To, like I don't have the answer for that because I don't know what your financial well, situation is like. Well, You're the one that knows what well, you can yeah, live on and, and what and you're willing thing, to sacrifice for your kids. Well, and that's the, that, that's yeah, yeah. the heart of it at the end of the day. But and the, and and to be honest, like the financial, if you are both working and then you're like, I want to homeschool, it's like. The parent that is maybe like, well, this is, you know, we need the second income. We're used to living with the second income. Like, that's a valid concern. It but is, if but you, do you need that second income? That's you the point. Talk about it. That's like, the point. It's like, what are you willing to sacrifice? Do you really need two cars? Do you need two cars? Do you need the big house? Do you got to have the stuff in the house? Do you got to yeah. have the do you need big, to go huge vacations, vacations or whatever? Once a year. Can you do something a little bit cheaper? Yeah. Do you I need mean, to eat out all the time? I mean, or like little day, things. Every day. Little There's like little things. Like then you have to look yeah. at where you can cut back and like what are you willing yeah. to sa- what yeah. are you willing to sacrifice? I don't want to get right? into the whole finance uh, yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a, a, that's no, a no, but it's it is because no, like, it's a different. You hear people like, oh, I can't sacrifice. I'm like, you guys, you're making like 175 grand a year, and you're like, no, you can't, can't deal with right? it. It's like, fuck off. Like, so where are your what are your values? Let's not get in. So that yeah, yeah. But what are your values? Yeah. So like. For me, it's like if you like you don't know where your food's gonna come from next month, then yeah, you can't really sacrifice. No, you can't sacrifice the much job more. because you yeah, need yeah. it, right? Need but if it. it's like, oh, yeah, well, if I can't work, then yeah, we're only making like sixty k between both of us. It's like, well, you could live off sixty k pretty reasonably, and already you're getting close to like literally, like literally, you're getting close to like the one percent. 
by making that kind of not, it just you it know just, what I mean though, right? Like you're up there, you're five percent for sure. But making it's, that kind of but it's bank, just right. But I think the thing is is if you know that your partner is going to have objections, it's coming to the partner and acknowledging you have to acknowledge yeah. the objections is number one. And have some solutions. And exactly. Don't just say, Well, I know this is what you're gonna say. Okay, well then ha- don't be like that though. Like have like, okay, but this it. is what you're going to say. I know that this is going to be one of your concerns, but this is a solution to that concern or this is what I've thought of. Be yeah. open and honest. I think that's like very important. That's what it is. And like yeah. with, that's, it's, I don't know, like I'm not a marriage counselor, but it's like no. with anything in your marriage, right? Just you or with a, any kind of relationship, mm-hmm. you just got to be open to talking about stuff. Yep, Absolutely. I don't know. What was that? Was the, um, the Big Hero 6 poundage? Yeah, it was. I think it was. Ba-la-la-la-la. Anyways. All right. So that brings us to our final point. <coughs> point number four. four. So you've talked to your significant other. You've talked to your kid. Mm-hmm. You've kind of already have the Find reasons as to, to why you want to do this. Yes. So you bring that all together. And then finally, you make the big decision. Like, all right, I'm going to pull them We're out. We're doing it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to actually throw like up. Before, you're okay. going to throw up. <laughs> you're going to throw up. De- Detroit Rock City for the little thing in my head right there. Okay. Um, that's a movie, by the way, with Edward Furlong after he dropped off the map after and Terminator you, 2. Okay, okay, Anyways, move on. So, um, after all that, before you just jump with the gun and like, well, that's it, we're coming out. Palm you out. Know, we're done. Yep. Just take a minute, take all that Hashtag, information. that's what she said. I don't know. <laughs> I'll get triggered after I re- re-listen <laughs> okay. to this podcast yeah. um, and do all the editing and fun stuff. Um, so before you jump out and pull your kid out of school, just take some time and with that information and start thinking and putting together lesson plans and what you're going to actually teach the kid. You know, to pull them out is great, but if you have literally no plan, like the first day, you're going to be like, uh... And we're unschooling. Okay. Do what so, the fuck yeah. you want. It's like, go outside and play. I don't know. Um, so now I'm not saying that you have to have a full year's worth of material prepared ahead of time. No one does. Literally, if you, <laughs> maybe some of the keeners do. No, you they know, don't. You know they, some of those keeners. Yeah, they're keeners, but even they don't. They're like, oh, yeah. I bought this whole box curriculum. We're going to do this all year. And then like. That's a different story. Two months in, like, stuff. I hate it. Well, of course. Of course. Because <laughs> nothing's tailored for the kid. But anyways, no. that's another issue. Um but like, even if you just have like a week by week, you have the, the week plan before the week starts, that's all you need. And that's good yeah. enough to get going. Oh yeah. So, and to be honest, teaching, especially if your kid is really young, like they're in grade two or three or whatever, it's not hard to devise what you're going to teach no. them for the full week. It's, it's really not difficult, especially if you know what they're interested in. If they're interested in math, you know what to focus on. If they love literature, guess what? You're going to be doing a lot of reading and a lot of novel study work. If they like artistic stuff, get out those paintbrushes and pencils and whatever it is in those papers and do lots of crafts with them. Like, again, the information you get from talking to them, talking to your spouse and understanding why you want to do homeschooling in the first place is really going to help you and really going to help you help guide you into what you're going to be preparing during homeschool. And another reason why you don't want to have like a whole year planned out ahead of time is because things will change. Like as you're teaching, you're going to find out what works, what doesn't work, and you're going to be able to use that information to guide you in the future. So if you're too far ahead, you're like, oh, all this work I did is like, you're going to have to throw it away because it's not going to work for your kid, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be caught in that situation. So, or yeah, yeah. In that situation of doing all this work and it's kind of useless because you're not going to use it in in the next lesson. Yeah. So homeschool planning will be like a whole other podcast I think that we should do. do. Absolutely. Yeah. But but my initial if you're just pulling your kids out now and you really don't know what to do, my first thing is they really need to know three things. They need to know math. That's just a basic thing. You need to know how to do math. So go to go to chapters and buy a Sylvan workbook. Buy whatever workbook for their grade and just just start. Just do it. You don't need anything fancy. Just buy it. Mm Even on Amazon, it's like 12 bucks. Yep. It's not expensive. Buy it, get them to do it. Khan Academy. I was just going to say, Khan Academy is like well, pretty much anything mo- you need. The, that yeah, set yeah. website is amazing. It's amazing. And like the more difficult kind of math concepts, 
very are simply laid out there. So go ahead. Yeah. Um, they need to read. So read what they like. If it's Captain Underpants, it's Captain Underpants. It's literature. Fucking read it. It doesn't matter. They're learning to read. That's all that Just matters. Just because it's not Shakespeare, which it, by the way, who says Shakespeare is even good anyway? It doesn't matter. Whatever stupid. they, whatever, take them to the library, take them to chapters on, I mean, go go get a fucking latte at chapters, get a macchiato. That's like so expensive. We're just talking about choosing your budgets and whatever. It's a it, caramel macchiato. It's so expensive. Cost is irrelevant. Cost is irrelevant. Absolutely it Listen is. Listen here, single moms. Are you struggling to oh, figure out how says, to homeschool okay, your so kids? Okay, so anyways, so... Take them to chapters and spend all your money I'm on lattes. I'm just saying, go... Uh, that's actually like a field trip for us. Like, we go there, they, the kids just... The library up. is free. It's go free. to the library. Yeah. Go to the, don't you, go to chapters, yeah, go to the library. Yeah, but if you live in a small town like Sudbury that does not have a good library, chapters it's is your better. oasis. You can still go to chapters and not spend money if you want to. No, like books, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We go and the kids read the books there and I walk around looking at other books that I want to read and I want to buy and I drink my caramel macchiato. It's awesome. And who pays for that? It's like four bucks for macchiato. Four dollars for a drink. That is insane. Every like month, a whole four dollars. A liquor doesn't cost. That's forty eight dollars a year. Anyways, There's what I'm saying you, is, they need to read. Read what they are interested in. It doesn't matter. There's 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 no standard. So, read what they want to read. Math, math, reading, writing, writing. They need to learn how to write. So let them write what they want to write. Don't put pressure on them. Stories, if, stories lyrics. Poems. Whatever they want, let them write it. Eventually, maybe try to get them into write, knowing how to write paragraphs and then writing an essay. I think paragraphs, writing, and then essay writing, obviously. Yeah, learn you how to need structure. to know, learn to know the This is the whole of it, point right? about knowing where your child is at yeah. and knowing what their strength yeah. and We haven't talked about this, but knowing what they're good at, what they're bad at, and what you need to work on. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, teach them, you know, the Those basics like of sentence three, structure, what are nouns, yeah, adjectives, yeah, yeah. adverbs, all so, that stuff, so, right? Like, so those would be my three main things. Those are your three kind of points you need to look at and you need to start at. Social studies, science, I mean. Yeah, you learn that as you go. You learn as you go. And to be honest, like if you don't teach your kids science until like grade three, I'm okay with that. Like that's cool to me. Yeah, I like I. It's not even so much science. It's like uh, speaking as a scientist, the scientific mm. method to me, yeah. it's observation important in the sense of understanding how our world works. Yeah. That's to me, that's important. Mm-hmm. Like it's critical thinking. And we talked about this in like, mm-hmm. there's critical thinking when yep. you're talking about literature, yep. but also about how the world works. Yep. Like that is important to know For how sure. the world works. So that's, but I'm, but I'm like, just, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you gotta, saying, know, you gotta know how to yeah, read. Yeah. You gotta know how to write. You gotta know how to like count money. Like you gotta but know I'm that math. But, but, but I'm just, but I'm just saying. One, like, I would add the fourth one is you gotta learn how to be able to observe your environment yeah. and understand the world that you sure. live in, and that's well, the no, science. Well, and, and the that's science, the problem and then, with how science is taught yeah, now that's, in the future. Yeah, that's it's a whole. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, if you're if you're just getting started, like that's a big important thing. Yes, science, of course, absolutely. We're both scientists. Science is very important in our house. Science, and I mean social studies learning history and social things i mean that's like very important as well but if you're just getting started those three basics are important and then figure out how you want to teach science and social studies you know depending on what your values are i think that's very important you have to figure out what your values I don't, are you know what i don't care what i don't care no, is, I, I know what you're right? saying like, but i don't care what your values are whether you believe in something or not science is how well I agree. Our society advances. I, well, I so whole, like, well, I 100% whether you agree. believe in electrons or not, it's like you need to know science to. I 100% I know what you're saying, and, agree. And, and I'm just saying yeah. Yeah, that critical thinking and knowing how the world works and understanding how the world works mm-hmm. is of the utmost importance. Yeah. To having, to being able to be, I don't know, well, to be able to understand how. You got to know how the world works to be able to be able to navigate through the world, right? Like, so for me, I feel like science and social studies are almost like the fun subjects, right? Because that's when you can go where your child leads you. Like, I'm in a rut right now with science because I feel like I have to teach the physical sciences and I freaking hate them but and the kids are interested in them either we're interested in like space and like animals and stuff you can throw it in it's that's 
so I need so I need to go back to that and to be and we're gonna work on that together yeah to to go yeah yeah and so to go back to what like we're actually interested with like social studies like we are so like we're learning about like history and like how right now the the explorers and it's like exciting for us and everyone's excited about Mm -hmm. it and and so that's that's fun because there's like an interest there right like and that's what you need that's what you need is the the passion yeah and the interest otherwise of course they don't give a fuck and they're not gonna learn it or it'll be very, very tedious into trying to yep. get that information. Down well, there. but they won't, but they won't, they won't retain of, it. They won't retain that's it. That's also part of your job is to make things interesting and that's as well. True. Cause and like that's you true. said, there's certain things that you have to learn. Some yeah. kids could, they could, I, I don't care about reading a book. Well, you got to learn how to read, right? Yeah. It's important. So Find someone you know what I mean? To you. There's captain in her pants. It's all fart. And no, no, I know. Jokes, but right? my, my like, point, my point was being that like, even part of your big three that you said they have to yeah, learn. Yeah, There's yeah. going to be kids that are like, I don't want to learn math. I don't want to learn how to read. I don't yeah, want to learn how to course, write. Of course. You're going to have to struggle with that too, you whether are. it's science or not. And there's going to be other kids that are like, teach me everything there is to know about kinetic energy and potential <laughs> yeah, energy and no, chemical energy. Of course. Energy. You know, so no, you got to roll with it. So, yeah, it, it everything, like it's all this package of knowing yeah. your kid, knowing yeah. what they like, yep. tailoring how they like to learn and tailoring what they yep. want to learn. Yep. And, it's really important to know your child when there's a subject that they have to learn, but they might not want to. That's where you really have to get creative into yeah. figuring out how to make sure that they're learning and deceiving them to, to think that they're actually Having playing fun. a game and not yeah, actually yeah. learning. No, that's true. where the no, art form true. of homeschooling comes and teaching yeah. comes into play. No, that's is true. To devise some type of activity or lesson plan or whatever it is that is so much fun <laughs> that they think it's actually fun yeah. as opposed to them learning. Yeah, that's where that's you hit true. the holy grail of homeschooling and teaching. Not even yeah, home, but no, just teaching. Just teaching. So so few yeah. teachers get to that point. Oh, right? yeah. So I can remember a few teachers, even just a few lessons that I've had of like, this is amazing. I'm having fun and I'm learning at the same time. Well, or, so few in like well, and I decades think, being well, at school, right? Well, and I think like one other thing is like, is if they see that you as the teacher, regardless of where they are, if they see you and it's like you're so passionate about something that you're teaching, you have the enthusiasm, you have the passion, that's going to come through. Well, that helps too. Because, yeah, if you're just going to be yeah. a stiff up there and be like, oh, guys, you're driving me insane, but just let's, let's get through this because i got to get yeah, done. No, I think, you know, I think it's not going to work. One of, one, of, work. one of the best lessons in grade seven was – Grade seven was a really important year to me. I learned a lot about like the Europeans when they came to the New World and what happened with the, <laughs> with the Native Americans here. It was the first time I watched uh, Dances with Wolves. We watched that in grade seven. Dances with Wolves in grade seven, and that like Im- it Im- it impacted me like hugely. And it's still one yeah, of my I favorite. I know you like that movie. It's like one of my favorite movies to this day. And then, so not only that, but then I remember my grade seven teacher, she, oh my gosh, on like Remembrance Day, was the first teacher that was like crazy honest with us about like the Holocaust. I knew nothing. I just thought Remembrance Day was mm, because people went and fought. My grandfather fought in the war. And then that's all I knew. I had no idea about this fucking Holocaust thing. And so my grade seven teacher was like telling us and like the passion and like, indignation that she had i was like oh my god like what the this shit happened like what and that's like (laughs) no but like to this day like it really was until this day it still stays with me because she had the passion and she had like the exuberance and like that stays with me to this day right like for sure so it's awesome so All that's right. what you need to have, like, in your homeschool. Find yep. your passion and your kid's passion. As well, yep. And yeah, yeah. Mix it all it's together. so important. All yeah. right. So those are the four things that we'd recommend for you. If you're starting, if you want to start homeschooling, first thing, why do you want to do it? Mm-hmm. Second, talk to your kid. Do they want to do it? What do they want to do when they're doing it? Mm-hmm. Talk to your partner. Are they even on board? If not, get them on board shoot well, them with facts and then get them on board by going back to what your why is exactly that's important of course well you link to it together why. i want to get them on yep. school because why, why, i cry why? every day they cry every day and they're, <laughs> I, they're sent to the principal's office every day and it's like well if they're at home they're, they're not gonna have any of that stuff they're gonna be 
happy, blah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it, all, it all links together. Yep. And then the fourth one is um, start developing lesson plans and develop the content before you actually pull them out. Again, try to have your content a week ahead of time and then you start to figure out how things are working and then you yeah. could start growing and developing other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, for us too, what we're doing is we've developed so many of our own lesson plans yeah. and we're starting to like kind of transcribe all the stuff that we've done over the years yeah. into a digital format because we have, I don't even know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you could probably see some stuff hanging up on our walls, but we have My so much material yeah. that we've made over the years yeah. that I'm now painstakingly kind of putting them on digital format. So they're going to be up on our website and you could just download them for free. We're going to have them for you guys to be able to use in your own homeschool journey. So yeah. that's um, that's pretty exciting anyways, for us anyways, to do that. Yeah. And those are the big four things. And the mm-hmm. last thing before we go here that I want to um, let you guys in on, oh my goodness, I got a cough. <coughs> it's really time to go because my throat is super dry. Is don't ever, ever forget about the most important subject of all. More important than math, more important than literature, more important than writing. Do you know what it is? Mm -mm. This is the most important thing of all. Health and fitness. Mm. Do not forget about this. Gym class, you have to do this every single day. You have to exercise with your kids. Go for walks. Go for a walk. Running, hiking. Oh my goodness. (coughs) <coughs> yeah that's that Excuse lots of bit just be active it does you don't have to you don't it doesn't have to be intense just move. it does though but just uh, well at least yeah, even according but just to, move. to the government just guide move. you have to be active intense activity at least one hour every day three days a week yep it's just, so it's important. important don't forget about it it is both yeah what good is all this knowledge or whatever if you have back problems, you can't walk, it's you true. know, you're just out of shape or you're unhealthy, you're at no, the doctors, you can't work anyways. Like, well, I mean, it's, and it's true, like, both of them and I, so important. for both of them and I, fitness is, like, a huge part of our life, it, like, is our life. <laughs> um, Trying to be anyways. Yeah, and, well, for you, for me, it's... For you. Thank you. Oh, no, well, nice. you have other no, issues. I go. Yeah, I'm well, Odium has a lot of injuries. Plus minus 40 pounds. Yeah, yeah. All over the well, place. no, no, it's no. But, but Odium has a lot of injuries that he <coughs> has to get over. But, like, for real, uh, fitness is, is a huge, has always been a big part of my life. And it should be a big part of it. Just everyone's life. Be healthy. You just, just need to move. Just make sure just you're homeschooling. You don't have that gym class every day. Yeah, just yeah. make sure just you make have sure it. Just make sure you move. So go. You got a dog? Walk your dog with the kids. You know, go for a run. Recess. Hike, ski, Consider it. Recess. Skateboard. Get out there. Go I don't for care. a walk around your neighborhood for an hour. Go hike. Go. Yeah. Just move. Do something. Just move. And just move. One other thing too is the difference between homeschooling and regular schooling. Regular school is like six hours. If you're mm-hmm. homeschooling, you can do it in like two or three a day. Yeah. And you'll get the same. Your mm-hmm. kid will get probably more information over an hour or two of direct one-on-one uh, teaching with you than they would have it's in amazing. school. It's so amazing. It's amazing. So don't feel like you have to be in school for six hours a day. Be in school no, for don't. two or three. You don't. Not even. We do, like, we and do, then, we do, th- then we do, do three hours a day. And you're That's done. it. Yep. Done. Like the stuff that they learn in school, like if you look over it, it's so little. Like yeah. you can teach a whole grade in like three weeks. Yeah, a whole grade. If if you look it's at the so if you look at the curriculum, if you, just think it, about it. if you look at the curriculum, yeah. it looks overwhelming. But when you break it down and you start doing, you, you just start don't even look at the you just start doing it. It's not your I kids mean, will advance so far ahead so of fast. what is is actually on the curriculum yeah. that they'll be that they'll be so far ahead that and it's and, it's, 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 and then, it's really it's really kind of sad but actually. At, but then at the end of the day. I don't really care if they're ahead or behind. It really doesn't matter. They learn how they learn. Especially if you don't follow the curriculum, which we don't. Which they is they learn how they learn. Yeah. If it takes them longer to learn long division than what is typical or what they allow, then that's just how then they learn, and that's why you're homeschooling. 
as long as you're enjoying what you're doing just have and fun. you're learning, yep. then you're doing great. Yeah. That's all there is to it. You have fun. They have fun. That's it. What's your end goal? Fun. That's it. Learning. The learning. But to have fun. Learning while having fun. Yeah, yeah. Fun learning. Learn. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to do that. It's a word. I just made it up. Anyways, should we close Say it goodbye. off? S- should, we, should we stop? Should we Is that how we end? Should we so, th- should we stop? We're stopping. <laughs> we're stop. Just so you know, we're, we're done. done. <laughs> are you done? I need some water. I'm dying here. Obviously. You're watching this. I'm like, I know. What the fuck? Like, blah, blah. Why? What the, what's going on? What's, Wait, what's, what's going on? This cough. Uh, it's been like a week and a half. Jesus. Eh? It's like a weird <laughs> cough. I'm diseased. Just, but you know what? Okay, just like one last thing. This is actually like one of the, like the big benefits. Are you like insulting me? No, I feel no, like no, 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 no. I'm not going to. One last thing. I just no, got to no, get the no, shot no, across no, no. before we I'm just saying, wrap up here. I'm just saying one of the big benefits for our family, uh, some families I know don't avoid this, but for us, like we have had so much less sickness in our house. Oh, they can't avoid it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. We have the, like the colds. Usually we'd have like what five colds before. It's like nonstop. Like, it's summer, like it's nonstop. Tristan will get sick. Then oh my Maya, God, the Maya, then me, then you. And you never get sick, and then it just well, rotates. I'll get like a little bit sick, but it doesn't really but matter. Like, you get sick for like mom. twelve hours. I'm like, how do you do this? I'm sick for like two weeks. Because moms can't get sick. Oh, that's what happens. That's what happens. Oh, okay. I, I have I, the I have the mom gene. That's what it is. And you just don't get sick because you have to take care of everyone so it's else. Like a female gene. You just have to take care of everyone else, so you can't get sick. It's just that what makes happens. No sense whatsoever. It's because you've had the man cold. Yeah, Moving uh, on. I, I think I'm triggered. I, I don't know if <laughs> I'm, I'm triggered. Should I be triggered? I'm just, I'm just saying, like, that's that's I one know. big benefit for I, us is, like, the amount of colds that come home. We don't have are, kids sticking their yeah. tongues and licking everything in the classroom. Oh, the other kids putting them in their mouths and whatever. No, it's so much it's less. It's insane. such of a bad thing in terms yeah. of developing immunity and stuff right but like well, they still go uh, they still go we're still out times. all the time we're at the library we're at the science center we're know, just, yeah. at gym zone but schools twice are this a big week. incubator of like sickness too it's, like it's, any any group setting yeah. like constantly every day yeah. and like the people that go into yeah it's reminds me of a story of like going to work in like cubicles where like someone will come in and like hack and up sick. their lungs. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Well, our parents and then make will, everyone else sick. well, that's the point is parents will send their kids to school sick because they don't want to put them on a babysitter and spend extra money or yeah. whatever, right? And so that gets everyone else sick and we don't have to deal with that. This is one of the like, let's Which be real awesome. about school and public school. Of like why you send your kids to school. Hashtag babysitter. Yeah, it's kind of like, well, you know what? It's just a babysitter. I know yeah. they're not maybe learning so much, but it's it's a handy babysitter yeah. too. So you can go about your daily business, right? Yeah, like yeah. anyways. Another issue, but you know, whatever. It's, well no, and it is another issue, but well it's not an issue, but that's just kind of what it's can well, be like. Too, it can right? be like can oh, they're for sick? some well, for some people it can not be. Yeah, no, no, for some people it can like, be. I don't got time to look after you. What are you, my kid? I don't care. I'm going to go to school. Okay. I think you're painting yeah. a very broad brush here. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. Anyways. All right. Are you this type of people? Two billion. Boom. <laughs> That's you. You are this type of person, and that's what I think of oh, all of you. Okay. Can we... I'll give you the Ben Affleck treatment right there. <laughs> that's just gross. It sounds like very dirty. <laughs> the Ben Affleck treatment. It's just gross. I'm Batman. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think we need to cut All you right. off. With that, we will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Whoever you are. You are. I appreciate it. We appreciate we it. Appreciate oh, do you it. appreciate it? I totally said I do. do. I don't know if you do. Maybe oh my you god, don't. you're looking like I appreciate it. Andrea doesn't. <laughs> but thank you. I totally do. And uh <laughs> We'll see you next week. All right. Have yourselves a great week. Bye now.